हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन दी सी एस आर नेट फरवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लीनियर एलजेब्रा क्वेश्चन विद द हेल्प ऑफ शॉर्ट कट ट्विक्स द लास्ट लेक्चर वॉज ऑन दी कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस एज वेल एज द री एनालिसिस वी डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरियस क्वेश्चन आस्क इन दी फरवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू विद द हेल्प ऑफ शॉर्ट कट ट्विक्स दैट लेक्चर यू कैन इजली फाउंड ऑन माई प्ले लिस्ट एंड द चैनल नेम इज डॉक्टर हरीश का नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस टूडे टॉपिक इज ऑन द लीनियर एलजेब्रा वट इज़ द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर सेवेंटी सिक्स आई डीज ए एंड बी आर द टू एंड क्रॉस एंड मेट्रिक्स सो इफ यू रीड दिस फर्स्ट लाइन इट इज नॉट गिवन दैट इट इज़ अ डिस्टिंट नाउ हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस ऑप्शन आर देयर सिंस इट इज एंड क्रॉस एंड सो यू ट्राई टू टेक एन एज पर योर कन्वीनियंट यू कैन टेक एन एज एन इज टू एन इज थ्री एज पर योर कन्वीनियंट सो लेट से आई कंसिडर एज ए टू क्रॉस टू फॉर डिस्कार्डिंग द ऑप्शन सो वट इज द माई एज द सम ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स इन द ईच रो इज माई टू सो आई कंसिडर दिस एज माई Here I consider B as two zero one one because the each column is my two. Some of the each column is two. Now if you look about the options, they are talking about the A transpose. What is the A transpose in this? You can clearly say that it's a B. Now your target is to prove that whether it's a singular or not. How you can prove that? There is a one method is you can prove that determinant of the matrix A is not single zero, or the one of the eigen value is zero. One of the eigen value must be zero, then it's a singular. So now we can op try to op the options are there. So look at the first option. What is that? This is the B of A transpose. What is the B of A transpose? A transpose is B, so it's a B square. So if you multiply this into B, B is my here. B into B, it will be four. It's a three. It's a one. It's a zero. Now, if I look about the first option, that is my half of B A transpose. That is nothing but my half. of b square what are the eigen value of the b square eigen value of the b square is my 4,1 eigen value of the one i is 1,1 it's a half so it means the eigen value of this portion is 2 and 1 by 2 clearly says that the eigen value is my minus 1 and half none of them is zero so it is not a singular so this portion is cancel out look about this one a transpose again now here is 1,1 is the eigen value of the i Minus B A transpose eigen value is four one. So if you divide it by four, it's my here. So the eigen value is my zero and it's a three by four. So one of the eigen value is zero. So it could be the one of the possible answer. But because we take the arbitrary example, so our option is to discard them. Another thing is now there is a need of the A B. So if you multiply them A into B, so if you if you take A into B, so what is the answer of this? It will be four. It's a three. It's a two. It's a two. Now it's not an easy task to find the eigen value of AB. So what I can do is I can find the i minus of half of AB. So what is that? This is one minus half of this is minus two. So its a component is zero. Zero minus half is my zero minus three by two, and it's zero one minus of one. So is it the zero? So you can see that determinant of this is a non-zero. It means this is again a not singular matrix. Look about this i minus one by four of AB. So if you look about this again, one AB is my here. So one minus one, so it's one minus zero minus two by four. It's zero minus three by four, and it's zero my mi one minus one by two. So clearly say that this the determinant is again a non-zero. So it means this is also not the singular matrix. So the only right answer is my here according to this small example of the. Two by three. So right answer is my here. So always consider as per your convenience either as a two cross two or three cross three. Look about the another one is there. So you have the four cross four matrix. Eigen values are there. That that's very simple about that. So I know I can write this value as trace of A plus trace of B. So what is that trace of A? Sum of the eigen value. This is minus one. You have to find that trace of B. So corresponding to the minus one, what is the eigen value of this? Eigen value of B is my one. Minus five plus five is a one. Corresponding to the plus one, eigen value is again plus one. This is one again, so again it's a plus one. Corresponding to the minus of two, the eigen value is my sixteen. It's my twenty. It's my five. So eigen value is again my one. So what is the trace of the B? Trace of B is my four. So this is my three right answer. That's a very simple about the concept. Look at the another one is there. So it's a three cross three matrix are there. So it means there are the three eigen value. One eigen value is given to you as a one. 
So the one way is that either you can write as a characteristic equation and then find the roots. But since we are in the competition exam, so we have the one minute for the one question. If you look about the column sum, what is the column sum is my two, this is two, this is two. So since each of the column sum is my two, so definitely one of the eigenvalues is my two. Now you can easily find the third value. So what is the trace of this matrix? So trace of this matrix is my five. Sum of the eigenvalue is my here two. So clearly say this and these two options are cancel out. Now, since uh, if my eigenvalues are one, two, and three, so they are distinct, then it is a diagonal. Value. But here that they are not distinct, so we can't say that it's a diagonal. Value. How you can prove that this is a diagonal? So there are the two methods are there. First one is either you can prove the algebraic multiplicity of the eigenvalues is same as that of the geometric multiplicity of this. Second way, you can find the minimal polynomials corresponding to the characteristic equation and then find its factor. If these factors are my linear, then it's a diagonal variable, otherwise not. So there are the two methods, we will discuss about the both two. So let's see firstly the minimal polynomial. So what are the what is the characteristics equation of this? So characteristics equation is my here. This is my characteristics equation. Now what are the minimal polynomials are there? That is a factor of this. So these are my here or my of uh, this. Now if I start from the first value a minus i and a minus of 2i. So you can clearly say if you write a minus i and then you can see a minus 2i if you find the uh, if you multiply them you can see the first value. What is that? It will be my a minus i, it will be my minus 1, it will be my minus 1, it's a 0, it's a 1, it's a 1, it's a minus 1, it's a 1, 1 of 1. And this, if you subtract minus 2, it's a minus 2, it's a 1 and 1. If I ca just calculate the first value, it will be my 2, it will be my minus 1 plus 0. You can see that this, the first value is a non-zero. It means it is a non-zero. So that means this is, uh, this is not the characteristics equations uh, minimal polynomial for this characteristics equation that means this is there but you can see this is a non-linear once it's a non-linear so it means this is not a diagonal so that option is cancel out so the only option is my here second method is you can check for the algebraic multiplicity otherwise you can start from here i can find the uh, uh, dimension of this what is that what is the a minus 2i so it's minus of 2 it's minus of 1 it's a 0 it's 1, it's a 0, it's minus 1, it's a 1, 1 and 2. Now how you can solve them? So if, if I firstly replace R2 by R1, then it's my here, this. Now you can simply say that if I multiply this by 2 and then add them, it will be 0. It's the same, it will be my minus of 2. So if I write here as minus 2. And if I subtract this from here, it will be my 0. It will be same, it will be my 3. Now if we add them, if you add them, you will get S, what is that? This is 1, 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, and it's a 0, it's a 0, it's my plus 1. Clearly says that the rank of this matrix is my 1. Oh, sorry, rank is my 3, so it means it gives you a unique solution. So once it will give you a unique solution, so it means the X is my unique, Y is my unique, and Z is unique. So what is that? The dimension space is my 1. So that means the what is the algebraic multiplicity of this two is my two. What is the geometric multiplicity? That is a, what is the dimension is unique. That's a one which is not equal. So again, this is not the right answer. This is the right answer. Here you can see this is the unique value. So the eigen space eigen vector corresponding to the one is always be a unique. Here we have derived that it's a unique answer. So it always be a same. So that's the right answer. Look about this one. So here you have to find the system is consistent. So as I discussed several times in the previous videos are there, there is no need to solve right of the argumentary matrix like rank of A and the rank of A by B. There is no need to solve like this way. How you can solve this? So first of all, what is the meaning of the consistent? Either the unique solution or infinite many solution. That's a very simple task. So what I can do, I can take any of the arbitrary value. Let's say I can take as a case two. If I substitute here, what will happen is that 2x plus 2y is my 0. Second equation is 2x plus 2y is my 2. Is it possible? No. It means this is a no solution. So once it's a no solution, it means this is a inconsistent. So this option is cancel out. I can check for the minus 2. So what is that? This is a 2x minus of 2y is my 4. 
is a minus of 2x is a plus of 2y is my minus of 2 so I can take this value I can multiply with a negative 2x minus of 2y is my 2 you can see here is a 4 here is 2 so that is again not possible so this option cancel out now when k is 1 so if you look about that is my 2x plus y is my 1 is x plus 2y is my 1 is a y plus z is my 0 now clearly says that but you can see that after solving this you can see that determinant of this is my 4 minus 1 3 so that's a non-zero so you will get the unique answer of y unique answer of the x once you know the unique answer of the y from here you can get the unique answer of the z so that means this problem is my unique so it means this is the consistent so the answer of this is my a but since this is the question related to the part c so it can be the answer of minus 1 so if x is if let's check if k is my minus 1 what will happen it is my 2x minus of y is my 3 it's minus x plus 2y is my minus 1 it's my minus y is minus z is my minus of 2 again you can really say that the determinant of this is a non-zero so you will get the unique x unique y once you know the unique y you can substitute here you will get the unique z so it means corresponding to this again the answer is my unique so it means this option is also correct so a and c are the correct option remember that you can watch my previous lectures on the linear algebra i already told you about the various shortcut tricks for solving such questions are there. okay so look at that this is the transformation about that so uh, which of the following statement is true or false what is the meaning of the basis so it means if you write this matrix n these are the basis so it means it consists of here so since it is of the force what are the other row elements are there we don't know and this is the kernel so what is the meaning of the null that's a kernel what is the kernel definition is transformation must be the zero it means if i take this as a kernel one two one four then answer must be zero 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 and zero that's the definition of the kernel so if you look about the first part if you uh, if sorry this is a minus one if you look about the first part what is the answer of this if you multiply them what is that this is one plus two plus four four minus four is zero that's two look for the next one is one minus two plus one plus four you can see that this portion is a non-zero that means second component is a non-zero so the first statement is false so if first statement is false so it means this option cancel out and this option cancel out now we have to look about this uh, whether the second statement is true or false again that's very simple how you can do that again we will look about this same manner i consider the matrix m now it's a column so it's a one 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 zero it's a one zero one one what are the other two we don't know so i consider this as a b c and d here is a x y z and p for example now if i multiply this value with the one 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 answer must be zero 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 and zero on the other hand if i multiply this matrix with the help of one zero one zero again answer must be zero 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 and zero so if i solve this part b so clearly say that here the what is the first answer is one plus a is my zero what is the second part is this is one plus b is my zero what is the third part is one one c z so that is a one plus c is my zero what about the last one is one one d p is one plus d is zero so c a b c d are my a is my minus one b is minus one c is minus one d is my minus one if you look about the first equation what will happen it will be give you 2 plus a plus x is 0 1 plus b plus y 0 2 plus c plus z 0 and 1 plus d plus p 0 now clearly says that when a is my minus 1 you can get as x is minus 1 y is my 0 z is my minus 1 p is my 0 so it means there exists a matrix because we are able to find the value of a b c d we are able to find the value of the x y z it means the m exists so it means there exists yes so it means the one is false one is false second is true so the right answer is a this option is also cancel out correct answer is my a o so that's a very simple about that i recall that what is a null matrix is that is that whose transformation will goes to the zero that is nothing but the kernel so what what i can do is i can consider any of the this the column i can consider a b c d and z and I up, apply this null transformation here it will goes to the zero I write the equation we will try to find the ABCD 
look at the one more example are there so now this is the matrix are there and this is the signature of this quantity uh, all of you know what is the signature that is the sign of the eigen's value this is the sign of the eigen value so what is the meaning of that that's again a very simple question about that what is the a is is m cross here it is given to that a transpose plus a is the r into i i is my identity matrix r is my real numbers so say k if i say real number is my k so it's a ki what is the meaning of that is k k k rest r my zero so a is any of the three cross three matrix so i consider a is my a b c d e f g h i and this is my a transpose this is my a is r i need to find the trace of the a what is the trace of a is a plus e plus i what is the trace of the a square so we need to find the a square also but anyhow we will firstly find here so now you can clearly say that this number will be zero when it will be zero when b plus d will be zero that means b is nothing but my minus of d similarly for this component zero it means c is nothing but my minus g similarly for this zero f is nothing but my minus h and this is k so it will be my 2 of a is my k so a is my k by 2 similarly for the diagonal elements e is my k by 2 i is my k by 2 so after this this you will get here now i need all this value i can substitute here so what is the trace of this matrix is 3k by 2 so that's the answer of this part we already compute now we need to find the a square so this is a into a so what is the a into a this will be the 3 cross 3 but i need only the trace of the a square it means i need to calculate only for the diagonal entries that's it what is the diagonal entries of first k square by 4 minus this into this minus b square minus c square next one is k square by 4 minus of b square minus f square and so on you will get here what is the trace of the a square the trace of a square is nothing but my 3 a square by now you can substitute this value here you can substitute this value here you will get this as the required answer now what is that you have to find the sign signature means that is the sign of the eigen's value that's a very simple so either you can write in terms of the eigen value like of this so this is the matrix corresponding to the k b c and f these are the variable you can write the here is my 6 k square by 4 this is 2 2 and 2 rest all the values are zero clearly say that all the eigen value are positive so this is the right answer another way this is the first method you can write the matrix but if you are unable to recognize how you can write the matrix look about that can this value be a zero can this value be a zero it can never be zero because all are my positive so it can only be zero when k is zero b is zero c is zero and f is zero what will happen if k b c and f are zero so if you look about that these values are my zero once it will be a zero it can never be equal to the k so it means our target is to find this so this can never be zero it means this is my positive definite once is a positive definite we all knows that the eigen value of the positive definites are my always positive so what are those if all are my positive this is my positive this the meaning that three eigen values are zero so that product of them is a zero but it is not true so this option cancel none of the eigen value is negative because it's a positive definite so this option is cancel this option is cancel right answer is only my a so this is the way you can uh, think about this conceptual in a very shortcuts and the very easy man so that's all about this linear algebra questions we will see in our next class how we can solve the inner products problems in our uh, next course lectures are there till then you can simply follow this playlist csr net ugc net channel name dr harish kar where you can find the previous lectures about that related to the probabilities complex analysis and sequence series quadratic probability inner product space and whole so you can watch these lectures definitely for finding this uh, so that you can able to understand this shortcut tricks more I hope you can like share and comment these videos to your friends best of luck students happy learning